So up to this point, Tom wanted desperately somebody should do his work and he should enjoy the holiday for at minimum half an hour. But what happened? He had some bits of toys or marbles or trash and he found it not enough to buy his time. Nobody will uh, use uh, or take this and give him some time to play. So he took his uh, he took up his brush and set calmly to work. So what happened? At this hopeless moment, he got an idea how to make other boys stop laughing at him or mocking him for doing the work on a holiday and he started or pretended to do his work calmly like he was enjoying his work. A little later, Ben Rogers, the very boy whose jeers, jeers means whose thought that he would make fun of Tom had been dreading. Means Tom was afraid of this boy named Ben Rogers that he would come and make fun of him. Came down the road. He was munching. Munching means eating with sound. An apple and pretending to be a steamboat in the river. So Ben was eating an apple and he thought or in his thoughts he pretended that I am the steamboat. Okay, a kind of boat found in the river. And he was making actions like that. He was making sounds like a steamboat. He was uh, pretending that some passengers are boarding. And he thought himself to be the captain of the boat and coming like that. Tom paid no attention whatsoever to him. He surveyed his last touch with an eye of an artist. Now Tom saw Ben Rogers is coming. But he paid no attention to Ben. And he surveyed. Surveyed means saw or look. His last touch with an eye of an artist. Now what Ben, uh, what Tom did? Ben was coming like uh, in his own mind. So Tom pretended that I am working. I am not painting the fence. But working like an artist. So it was some work of very important work. So he was pretending like that. And then he gave his brush another gentle sweep. And he gently gave the brush a sweep like an artist. And again looked at the results. And surveyed the result means looked at the fence once more. Ben came on painting. Uh, ben came up to Tom. Sorry. So Ben at the moment reached to Tom. Tom's mouth watered for the apple. Tom was hungry. He was feeling hungry. He wanted to eat that sweet apple which Ben was eating. But he kept on painting the fence and ignored Ben. But what happened? Tom paid no attention to Ben. I'm not looking at you. I'm doing. I'm very busy in doing my work. Like that he pretended and he painted the fence. Then suddenly he wheeled. Uh, then suddenly he wheeled around and said, "Why? It's you, Ben." I didn't see you. I am going swimming, Tom. Don't you wish you could too? Ben prodded him. But of course, you have to work. Now what happened here? At this point, Tom saw Ben. So Ben was skipping, hopping, jumping. He was very happy on the such Saturday morning. So he thought that he was a steamboat and making sounds like that thinking he is the steamboat and then he is the passenger himself he is the captain ben saw tom working so he started calling tom hey tom hey tom can't you hear me oh tom have you gone deaf you cannot hear me what are you doing there are you being punished <sighs> tom said i was absorbed in my work Work? Ah, it's a punishment. Ben tried to convince Tom and make him say that he was being punished again. But Tom was too clever. What he did? He, instead of uh, convince, uh, be saying Ben that yes, I'm punished, he charged again to Ben. Ah, no, no, I'm making an art. You see, how many days have you seen a boy like me painting fences? Is it common?
see it is filled with such hidden excitement that you are not ready to appreciate and he started laughing you know when you are ready and you will be special now ben tra wanted to do that he said oh maybe i can try it he started to convince tom ah, i am not different from tom he wanted to show tom that he can do the job better than tom so he started nagging tom making him agree to do the work tom said okay i can give you but you see and polly is very particular about this and she won't like you doing this job only a very special boy like me can do the work but ben kept on insisting tom tom was not agreeing so ben said okay i'll give you my half eaten apple tom wanted to eat that apple but still he said no 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 i cannot ben started to convince him again and again and he gave a brass knob to tom he said oh it's that i really wanted here you take and paint so tom succeeded so here you can see tom made his whole act of white washing the pens sound as it was some artistic venture so what happened he made a very great show of applying white wash and how he was enjoying and he was admiring his work too so this aroused curiosity in ben now ben became curious too that what tom can do i can do that too so he was requesting tom to let him try to do white wash but tom was unwilling until ben offered him the core of the apple well, okay you can take then tom refused no i won't then ben offered him the whole apple then also tom was saying okay but what about aunt polly then ben tried and gave him a brass knuckle so what happened ben started painting the fence while tom he sat in the shade and enjoyed the apple and by the middle of the afternoon the what happened all the other boys came now let's see what happened next so tom sat in the shade of the and munched the apple while ben sweated in the sun and painted the fence now see what happened next boys came by and stayed to whitewash by the time ben was too tired to paint any more tom had traded the next chance to billy fisher so again billy fisher came and he also showed interest then he has to give something to tom so that is called trade means tom received some uh, something from billy in exchange of white washing the pens so what billy fisher gave, gave him billy fisher for a kite now billy fisher gave tom a kite and then to johnny miller for a dead rat and so on and the, when the middle of the afternoon came from being poor a poor poverty stricken boy in the morning tom was literally rolling in wealth he was a rich boy and the owner of 12 marbles a piece of chalk a couple of ted poles a part of jews harp a piece of blue bottle glass to look at a spool cannon spool cannon means a homemade toy for the children by attaching elastic band to a cotton reel or a slingshot a key that would uh, wouldn't unlock anything cannon means you can say gulel Uh, a key that wouldn't unlock anything a fragment of chalk a glass stopper of a decanter a tin soldier a uh, tin soldier six firecrackers a kitten with only one eye a brass door knob a dog collar but no dog the handle of a knife four pieces of an orange peel the di uh, lep uh, the dilapidated old window sash to name just a few of his treasures he idled while the other boys painted the pens three times over if he hadn't run out of the white wash he would have bankrupted every boy in the village tom said to himself that it was not such a hollow world after all he had discovered a great law of human action without knowing it namely that in order to make a man or a boy covet a thing it's only necessary to make the thing difficult to attain so like ben all the other boys came and they wanted to show their talent 
टू इन वाइट वॉशिंग सो दे वेर पेइंग टर्म गिविंग द थिंग्स विच दे हैड एंड दे थॉट इट टू बी एक्सपेंसिव नो इन दोज डेज चिल्ड्रेन डिडेंट गेट एनी एक्सपेंसिव टॉयज लाइक यू पीपल डू नाउ सो दे हैड वट एवर दे गॉट द फ्रैगमेंट स्टार्ट पोल्स एंड क्लीटेंस दे प्लेड विद दैट सो बाय द आफ्टरनून वॉट हैपन ऑल द बॉयज वेर स्टैंडिंग इन अ लाइन दे वेर पेइंग फॉर दे चांस ऑफ वाइट वॉशिंग एंड टॉम कलेक्टेड मार्बल्स kites and many other items as payment from the boys so he was a rich boy and the boy were boys were doing work while tom was sitting idly and playing he had discovered a great law of human action without knowing it in order to make a man or a boy work the lesson is finished you can try doing exercises a and b in your rough notebook